Roseland here with Morgan Geek TV at Spiel 2014. I'm sitting here with Frank Tubin from Hi. Queen Games, and he's here to talk about Escape Zombie City. City. Yeah. Yes. So, for everybody who knows Escape, I hope there are a lot of viewers. <laughs> um, this one is not just slapped on a zombie scene. We actually made it different. It plays different. But the grunt, uh, the basic mechanics are the same. So, every player has five dice. Very important, you all play simultaneously. So there's no turn order, there's no waiting around. It's hectic, frantic, 50 minutes fun. Uh, we have a CD, which has two soundics on them, each play 50 minutes. And in these 50 minutes, the players who are stuck in this town, which will be overrun by zombies, have to escape. In order to do that, they have to go around the city and try to find special places like the supermarket, the gas station, or the hospital. In these special places, they can find things they need and actually to survive the long trip to the next city before the zombies come after them. Exactly. So, the goal of the game is to find those different uh, items and put them in the trunk of your van. Depending on the number of players, you need a certain number of items to actually find. So, once we have this, we load it up in the truck of the van, then we escape with its van, we try to find the exit tile, which is somewhere among the last, of course. Once you've found the exit, the goal is to reach it and have no zombie present on that tile. Ah. Once you've done that, you escape the city. Okay. Okay, so how does it play? When the soundtrack starts, there's a guy yelling escape, and then you go frantically rolling your dice. With a dice roll, you could save any dice you want, except for the black ones, you have to set them aside. These are bad for you, you cannot re-roll them. But I could save the running guy and take the rest. Roll again. In that case, I roll the yellow guy. That's very good because it unlocks two of my black dice. So I can re-roll. So what we're trying to do is basically go to a, um, a block, a city block, where there's open streets and discover new tiles. We enter a new city block by rolling the symbols marked on the right-hand corner of that tile. So, for example, in that case, I got it, so I used these two dice to actually move my pawn over to the street tile. Once I use dice for an action, I have to pick them up and re-roll them again. I cannot save them all the time. Then I go roll again. Oh, bad roll. Two black ones. I have to set them aside. You come along. Thank you. And now, since you, yes, you have a gold one, you don't need it because you don't have block black. But we are on the same city block, so you, I can ask you: Can I have this? Yes. Then I reroll it. Yes. And I can reroll my two blacks. So we have to help each other. So once we're in a block where there's open streets with two green guys, you can actually discover a new tile. And now, where it begins, where it differs from escape, is that you take it, flip it over place him with the skull symbol on any of the open streets and then you have to draw a zombie card uh -oh. flip it over okay it shows a zombie that means we have a bag there are zombies in there take one out and put him on the street aisle dum, dum, dum. Okay. they have different strengths there are green ones which are easy yellow ones medium and red ones very brute well, you don't want to discover them. <laughs> but we put it on the tile, and this actually we can defeat by rolling four bat symbols. So, it goes over here. It's not a threat right now, because it's in a space where we don't actually need it. But every time we discover a new tile, you flip over a card. And things happen. You flip over this card. That means that every, no, there's no new zombie, but every yellow zombie on the field moves towards the skull symbol. Uh oh. And of course, they all converge onto the church. We don't want to happen, that to happen. Because if they do that, we put them over here. Once three zombies are in here, we lose the game. They overrun us. They found our hiding spot. So we have to determine if he's far off. Maybe we're fine, maybe we're not. So we have to decide do we want to fight him. If we do that, we have to move into that section and fight him. The only catch is once you're with a zombie in a street um, corner or in a city block, you cannot use your golden dice to unlock your blacks. Oh, so you no. better be prepared before you enter. 
That's so really horrible. Do. That's really horrible. So you get stuck. There's only one chance you can reroll all your blacks. But that entails flipping over another card, which in turn gives you more zombies, more movement, and that's not exactly. the best thing to happen. So, while actually searching for all these special tiles to find the items you need, once you find it, once you flip over the tile, you take it in front of you, you can only hold one at any time, then you have to race back to the church, put the tile in the van, and then go again. Uh, so, while you're trying to do that, all the zombies are approaching the church. If that isn't easy enough, then there's three countdowns on the CD, like in an escape, once the countdown hits, you have to go back. Otherwise, like in escape, you lose a die. Which is pretty horrible. Right. Uh, also, these guys, if I discover a street block with, for that example, a supermarket, I put a tile on there. Once I'm there, I can flip it up if I roll the symbols and take it. But it doesn't get refilled. It only gets refilled after the end of the countdown. Oh. So you better be fast to so find them all. So you can make sure they're refilled. Right. Before, uh, and in every uh, special building there are three items to find, but you need different ones in the van. It doesn't help you if you have a lot of tomato soup no. in your bag of your You need van. food, you, you need water, food, you, need you need energy technology. drink in that case, yeah. of course. <laughs> um, <laughs> and once you have all the items found, you go back. Everybody has to be back at the church. Then you remove the pawns and you put the truck on. Now you start up the van. Now it becomes interesting because <laughs> You have to go to the exit. Depending on where the exit is, it's a long ride. If zombies are in the way, you have to fight them. But now we all have to roll the symbols needed to go there, plus all of us one green. At the same time. Right. And that's the funny part because every every city block, somebody else is going to get yelled at because he's the one lacking behind. Oh, I've got two blacks, so that's bad. There we go, that's what I need. And you have to help me now. I, uh, Otherwise... I got a yellow, uh, I got a yellow. Thank you, let's, let's see what we need. <laughs> and I got uh, Actually, we need a bat to go over there, but that's okay. But you Come get, on, get it, get uh, it. You have to help me. <laughs> help me. I'm doing my best. You're not doing a very good job. No, no I'm not. Yet. I got... Thank you. I need help too. You need help too, okay. <laughs> oh, I got it, I got it. I got it. I... Now you need it. <laughs> I got it. You're very good at this. <laughs> I must admit. Okay, but let's pretend we got it. Yeah, let's pretend we got it. Let's pretend we got it. <laughs> so, we go over to the next one, and then if we have the exit and there are no more zombies, then we escape. And that means in this tile or on the entire no, bar? in this tile. The in other the ones head. we disregard even if they walk into the church because we are gone. Yes. We are not in there anymore. Uh, so, if you have handled the easy version of this game, which you have these scenario cards, which have little numbers at the bottom. This is for scenario number one, but there are five scenarios included okay. in the game. Fun. So, this determines the difficulty. So, for example, this one is only in four and five, but you spawn two zombies on a tile and the red ones move. So, it's getting harder and harder every time you do that. And you have these nasty ones. Basically, this means on every pile of zombies, in that case, there would be the exit, and there are some other tiles which have a pile of zombie lying. On every pile, there is a zombie spawn. Oh, so gosh. you can make this pretty, pretty hard. And if you still think that's too easy, you can decrease the number of actually who can enter here. And if that's still too easy, you just increase the number of items you have to find. And if you still manage to do that, then yeah, we are off. <laughs> that's all we have. Okay. This sounds like a lot of chaos, chaos and a lot of fun. It is, but it is. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is Escape Zombie City from Queen.